Hey everyone, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and fun. I've been seeing this trend go around on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, so I thought I'd try it for myself. This is my 41st day in my home. I've been quarantining for 41 days and it's been a whirlwind of emotions, but at the same time I've been so grateful to have a home and food and technology and even the ability to make this video for you guys. Same time, I've kind of been feeling meh because I just get up, wear pajamas, take a shower, wear different pajamas, and it's the same routine every day for 41 days. I thought I would participate in this trend that's been going around involving loungewear. I've been seeing all these girls on Instagram and they're so cute with their matching lounge sets and I'm just like, I want one so bad. Kind of gives the illusion that you're putting in effort into your look, but really you're just rolling out of bed and putting sweats on. But when I Googled all these different lounge sets, they're all like 80, 90 bucks together and it's just too much to spend. So when I saw this trend on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, that is about making your own lounge set that's cute and comfortable and fun, I was like, oh, sign me up. Basically what I did was I went on Amazon and I bought a matching sweatshirt and sweatpants. They cost me $18, so think about that. $18 versus $80 to $100 range. So I'm already saving hella money. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie dye them myself. The set looks like this with a black sweatshirt and black sweatpants that I bought from Amazon. Again, only $18 for both pieces. We have our black sweatpants and black sweatshirt. We've been watching lots of TikTok videos. So apparently the first step is that we have to wet the products. Now that it's wet, we're gonna put it in like the pinwheel twist. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> if I mess this up, it's fine. Like, it's supposed to look unique. It's not supposed to be structured. <laughs> now the sweatshirt is all rubber banded. We're going to move on to the sweatpants. I'm doing the legs now by doing this like crinkle method. If that's how you call it. I don't even know. But I already did one leg. So now I'm doing this leg and we're going to rubber band it up. And then we'll put both items in the tub so we can put bleach all over it. Now that these are rubber banded, kind of messily, hopefully it still works. We're going to put them in the tub so we don't make a mess. We're going to bleach them. Don't really know how much bleach I'm supposed to put, so I'm just going to like... That was kind of a lot, but... I put a good, a good amount. It's already changing color, but we're gonna put a timer for 10 minutes and then rinse them out. This is after rinsing. We're gonna put it in the washing machine and see how the finished product looks. Now we just put some detergent in the wash and we're going to throw the clothes in. Here are the pants and the shirt. And we're just gonna put it for a light wash and we'll show you guys how it comes out. As you can see, we've got the finished product. I love how this came out. I feel like it's exactly like what I've been seeing on Urban and all these other websites. I only paid $18 for both the sweatshirt and the sweatpants combined. I thought this was a great project to take on during quarantine because it was super fun and easy and quick. And shout out to Spencer for helping me out. He was such a great sport. And now I have a brand new, super cute and comfy loungewear set that I've always wanted. And I love that I only paid 20 bucks for the whole thing rather than 80 to 100. And now that I know how to make these, I might make some more. I just love doing it. It was such a fun project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you make any of your own tie-dye, let me know in the comments below or send me a DM. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.